Charleston, South Carolina, known for its cobblestone streets, candy-colored antebellum homes, Broad Street, and coastal living is making a name for itself beyond just a tourist destination. This city is on the upswing, attracting millennials looking for affordable homes, jobs, and a slower pace of life. Due to its popularity, the housing market is on fire, with many homes receiving multiple offers within days. It's pretty clear why people want to settle down in Charleston. The weather is mild, there are three beaches within 20 minutes, and eclectic restaurants excite even the most discerning gourmand. With downtown dotted with church steeples, it's no wonder it's been given the nickname the Holy City. It's a city that blends the old and the new. Despite the charming aspects of Charleston, like many southern cities, it has a checkered history. With several plantations just a few miles from the city, it's been a challenge to reconcile with the past. With the younger generation entering the marketplace and the discussion, these new home buyers will be instrumental in defining how Charleston develops in the future. I'm here to guide and empower first time home buyers because understanding the past can help make things better in the future. Finding your first home is one of the most exciting, this is insane, and personal decisions you'll make in your life. My favorite part, and I love what I see. With so many things to consider, it's easy to lose sight of what's really right for you. As I kept looking, I'm like, there's nowhere to go. My name is Andrew Tyree. I'm a realtor and a neighborhood explorer. I believe that home means something different to everyone. It's the personal touches, the backyard for hosting your neighbors, the local coffee shop around the corner, or the community park that make a home your home. That's what I want for Kingston, to be in a neighborhood where there are people that look like him, that reflect who we are. I'll be taking some first-time home buyers on a journey to find a place that feels like home to them. Wow. Ta -da. As they discover what they should really consider before signing on the dotted line. What really draws us here is that there are so many cultures in one small area. Yeah. You've become like my best friend. Cheers. We'll go beyond the typical house hunt. <laughs> this is Beyond the Block. Today, we are in Charleston, South Carolina. We're gonna meet a fun young couple. Their names are Kirsten and Fabian. My name is Fabian Wright, and I'm originally from Washington, D.C. And my name is Kirsten Brown, and I'm originally from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I work for a digital marketing firm here in Charleston downtown. And I own a dog walking adventure and boarding company called Brown Dog Walking Company. Kirsten and Fabian had only gone out on a couple dates. COVID happened, the shutdown happened all across the country, and these two decided, let's move in together. And now they are looking to buy their first house. Being a mixed race couple, buying a home in the South might be a challenge, but I think they're up for it. So I am Native American, I'm part of the Cherokee tribe. And as a kid, we were really immersed in that through my grandma, who would try to teach us the culture, she tried to teach us the language, we'd go to powwows, um, get to see the dancing, and that was really, really cool. Being the first generation American, all my family is Jamaican. I grew up with a sense of pride for Jamaica, and food was always at the center of that. So the pandemic actually has given us a chance to like stop and come back to those roots. Like We tried different recipes with his Jamaican roots and me with my Cherokee roots, uh, venison stew, grape dumplings, stuff like that. We've made our own jerk chicken, Jamaican spice bun. So what we're looking for in a house is definitely to have more space. Uh, we definitely need a backyard. We also do boarding and sitting in our apartment. We can get up to 14 dogs, but generally on weekends we have eight to 10. <laughs> um, a guest room would be really nice for whenever we can have friends come over. We're both working from home. So when we do open the office again and we go back to work, easy commute would also be nice. Our generation and our age, not a lot of people are buying homes or have the even opportunity to. It's a hard achievement that a lot of immigrants don't get to achieve, you know? A lot of minorities don't get to achieve. So when we have children, they can see, oh, we can buy land too. He said when we have children, y'all heard that, right? It's, it's, you got that on tape? <laughs> so I'm very excited to work with Kirsten and Fabian mostly because they remind me a lot of myself, especially Fabian. He's of Jamaican descent, I'm of Jamaican descent. So to be able to help them, it takes this next step in their life, um, in the relationship, it's really exciting. 
Have you guys been looking for a while? Yeah. Yes. How's the yes. search been going? It's tough. Not so uh, hot. It's tough. It's, yeah. uh, it's, well, it's a hot market, so yeah. oh, people are looking for houses. They go on the market, like in like two days, they're gone. Yeah. Everywhere. So yeah, it's, it's like this all over the country. Hours. Yeah. 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 Um, tell me what the wish list is looking like now. So definitely a backyard, okay. yes. space for yeah. the dogs to yeah. run around and you know, have their own yeah. area, and then have like extra rooms where I can can have a little bit quiet for those conference calls. His yeah. office right now is is the living room. Uh, like on his conference yeah. calls, he has to hit mute a lot. <laughs> and they're like all in the background. Did, yeah. People yeah. are like, how many dogs <laughs> do you have? <laughs> um, so tell me, so how many bedrooms do you need? Three. Three would be nice. Right. So we can have an office. Sure. A big kitchen. We both like to cook. Okay. A lot. Okay. Is neighborhood important? Community important? Yeah. Once somewhere where we can go in and like when we come home, we feel like we're a part of a community. Yeah. Like, you know. Do you think that it's it's hard, especially now with the current climate, to find community where you feel uh, welcomed, where you feel like you're a part of the community? I think it's changed. It was more you could see where the line was, right? Mm -hmm. You knew like all right. This part of town is where all the black families were. Yeah. Where now it's more of a blend, you know? We'd like to be part of that sea. So when we do settle down, it has like that same. Yeah. Where it's in flux, yes. where, where the shift is happening and you right. can kind of be a part of that, yeah. part of that change. Are there specific neighborhoods that you want to be in? West Ashley is mm -hmm. where we are now. Like, yeah. so we know that area. Park Circle okay. is another place because that's kind of up and coming. And then... John's Island would be nice. Yeah, okay. it'd be a little further out, but still with that commute wouldn't be as bad. Okay. So West Ashley, Park Circle, John's Island. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Great. So we're going to show you some tools from Realtor.com. Mm -hmm. We're going to help narrow down your search to make sure that you find the home that's right for you. Right. We'll start by putting in your search criteria. What is your budget? We would like to stay around the 250 range. Okay. We know that we have to be flexible with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do a range. So let's do 200,000 to 300,000. Okay. There's, now there's two filters here that I think are really gonna help you guys. Mm -hmm. The first one is a lot size. Let's start with a quarter of an acre and then we'll go up to half an acre. Second filter that's really important is commute time. Yes. Right. What's a good commute time for you, Ted? Uh, about 20 minutes. 20 works? OK. Good time. We'll do that, and we'll hit View Results. And as you can see, oh, an wow. outline forms there around yeah, us. Yeah. And all the properties that are inside that outline are going to be the ones that work for you. We exactly. got it. So John's Island, it looks outside the sweet spot. Yeah. So let's now take that we see it. Yeah, yeah, let's take it off the table. Good. So Park Circle, West Ashley, yes. that's what we'll focus on. Let's do it. Sounds good. I think we're going to have a fun week. Yeah. We're going to see some yeah. cool spots. We're going to have some experiences, check out some communities, and hopefully we're going to get you on the road to finding the house that works for you. Please. Right. Thank yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> this famous row of 13 colorful homes located in Charleston is known by what name? Pastel Place, Unicorn Alley, Rainbow Row, or Cotton Candy Lane. Thanks to Realtor.com's home size filter, we can ditch this troll hole for a bigger place. Our new home is perfect. For having neighbors over for dinner. Love your open floor plan. Realtor.com to each their home. Babe, look, three bedroom with a yard in the neighborhood with the ramen place. Yes, what do we offer? Oh, welcome to name that. Okay, team, what's that house worth? Multiply the square footage by the number of bathrooms, divide by the school district. 355. Uh -uh. 360. Uh -uh. 380 because there's a yard. Instead of a wild guess, use the Realtor.com home value estimates. You can get estimates on home values in your neighborhood or nationwide. 349. Oh, right. Go to Realtor.com or download the app today for a home value estimate. With Realtor.com's affordability tool, I can find a new home with a mortgage that fits my budget. I love my new home. This is the best day of my afterlife. Realtor.com, to each their home. This row of 13 colorful homes located in Charleston is known by what name? The answer is Rainbow Row. It's one of the most photographed streets in Charleston. So I was not prepared for the rain today. <laughs> uh, that's OK. Somebody warned me that the weather in Charleston can change quickly. Mm -hmm. and yes, always be prepared like a yes. Boy Scout. I'm in Charleston helping first-time home buyers Kirsten and Fabian find a neighborhood that feels like home. Land ownership is a big deal for Fabian, who is first-generation American with Jamaican roots. Both he and Kirsten want to find a community that feels inclusive and diverse, a place that will not just accept them, but will celebrate each of their unique backgrounds. Right now, we are in 
Park Circle. Yes. Yeah. Now, what do you guys know about the neighborhood? What do you know about this area? Are you familiar? A lot a of new thing. restaurants yeah. have popped yeah. up in this area. Some Thai food, yeah. you have Italian food. Okay. You're saying different cuisine. Mm -hmm. I hear diversity, a lot yes. of different yes. cultures. Yeah. About 20 minutes north of downtown Charleston lies the historic neighborhood of Park Circle, aptly named for the large circular park at its center. First founded in 1912 as a garden city, Park Circle was meant to be a self-contained community with regulated numbers of homes, industries, and farms. It served as a working-class neighborhood of modest single-family homes for the workers of the area's factories and nearby naval base. In recent years, Park Circle has seen renewed investment from the city of North Charleston, repairing dilapidated buildings, planting trees, and repairing sidewalks. The result? is a quiet community with a growing number of businesses moving in. Park Circle maintains much of its original quaint design, but is gaining new attractions every day. It's becoming a highly sought after area and could be just what Fabian and Kirsten are after. So this first property that I wanted to bring you guys to is a townhouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you feel about that? I'll be honest, <laughs> that wasn't like a, a top choice. Not sure. Why is that? What's, what don't you like about townhouses? It's just sharing the walls, yeah. like we're so yeah. close to our neighbors. Like, yeah. if we have a lot of dogs over and it starts barking and then and carries over, yeah, yeah. the whole yeah. thing. Well, All I right. think we checked a lot of boxes here. Cool. So okay. keep an open eye. You might like it. Yes. All right. So come on in, guys. All right. So townhouse. Yes. How much are we talking? OK, let's take a quick look at the listing on the Realtor.com app here. It's 285 and there are no HOA fees. OK, that's, that's nice. huge. Yeah. 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 So we're starting right here in the living room. This mm -hmm. is your common area, right where you walk in. There Could isn't you... really a dining area. I mean, yeah, depending on what you did with the space, I feel like the couch is actually pretty far. Maybe you can make a bit of a dining space here, depending yeah. on how you wanted to design it. True. Yeah. Yeah. Flows right into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Lots of counter space. Like yeah, that. really good yeah. for entertaining. Lots of cabinets. Lots of cabinets. Right, that's really yeah. important. The appliances are new. And then right up here, we have all the bedrooms are upstairs. Cool. Bedroom number one. OK. Um, good size. Yeah, good size bedroom. You're going to get a lot of natural light. Yeah, right love here. that. This would be considered the homeowner's suite mm -hmm. or the primary bedroom because yeah. it has an ensuite right here. That's a good touch. I like yeah. that. You have a second bedroom. A little smaller, mm -hmm. yeah, but fine for a guest room. Right. Right. I do like there's I a lot of natural light yeah. still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This could also yeah. be an office. That's very cool. And our last bedroom is right in here. Love it. Nice. Open, more natural lighting. Good space in mm -hmm. here. So this would be your backyard space. OK. Yeah. It's definitely a step up from the apartment. Yes. Where we can just open a door, let the dogs out. Yeah. That's a huge plus. Oh, All right, I let's think get so. out of the rain. All let's right. Head inside. Okay. Final thoughts on the house. So I definitely like that it is already ready. Yes. Overall, great space. Yard, not gonna cut small. It. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's small yard. Yes. With a, with like ten dogs, there's not yeah. a lot of space to like run around. Yes. You know. Sharing the wall with the neighbors. I get it. I get the it. Location is great though too. Yes. There are some nice things in this neighborhood. Yes. We have a surprise set up for you guys. Cool. Nice. One of Park Circle's exciting new restaurants is Jack Rabbit Philly. Named after owners Shuai and Corey Wang's Zodiac Animals, Jack Rabbit Philly serves heritage-driven new Chinese American cuisine. Corey and Shuai are Charleston transplants just like Kirsten and Fabian. So I set up a visit to learn how they landed in Park Circle and what they think of this changing neighborhood. Hi, guys. Hi, Welcome. So they were super excited about coming. I'm super excited about being here. <laughs> what I did not tell them is that you guys are going to be teaching us how to make dumplings today. Oh, that is so exciting. Yay. I love dumplings. I eat dumplings all day long, every yeah. day. We make it here very traditionally how my grandma, how my mom made it. So what you want to do is take a wrapper in your palm, and then you want to take a little bit of water and kind of very lightly wet the edges. And then you take a little bit of filling, you want to make a half moon shape by closing the two ends together. It. Give it a good squeeze. Yeah, you wet the little corner and then you fold downwards. Mm -hmm. And it's like a. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in, guys. All right, let's get All right. Let's try it. Let's try it here. So, and you just kind of squeeze the edges. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Oh, we. I feel like a professional. <laughs> Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, oh, they are oh, all gorgeous. Oh. Look at that. Now I just have to do 700 more for service. Got it. Perfect. Yeah, right. All right, we're, we're on, on it. We're on it. <laughs> While we're filling these dumplings, mm -hmm. I'd oh, like yeah. to pick your brains. Yes. Um, 
So you guys met in New York. Yeah. Right. We did. We worked in the same restaurant. Charleston feels a lot different than New York. I Was it a culture shock coming down here? It was slightly weird, just because like, I had doubts about staying here, because uh, I didn't feel totally comfortable. Yeah. But you know, I th thought to myself, like, you know, if you don't stay here and kind of uh, have the patience to teach people about your culture uh, or, you know, the Asian community, then who's going to do that? Exactly. Yeah. What we love about Park Circle is that there are so many different cultures in one small area. Yeah. It's very cool. So recently in the pandemic, we've been trying to go back to our cultures and like learn how to cook and yeah. that kind of food. So how did that feel, like keeping that tradition going? Pretty amazing. Like, um, you know, I, I wasn't always proud to be Asian. Mm. When I first came to the States back in 96, um, you didn't know you were different, you know, until you got here and you were somehow completely different. Sure. And people made sure that you knew that. It wasn't towards like the middle of my younger career that I started out, you know, like, this is what I know, this is what I do best, and this is what I love to eat, and this is something I'm really, really proud of, you know? Like, it's right. like no one else is like me that have these recipes. This is from my, from my family, you know? So yeah. I, I feel very proud of that, and I hope they are proud of me for like trying to, you know, teach people this kind of Chinese culture that's from Beijing. I just think, you know, you pick the place that you love, mm -hmm. and then either you find your people and your people will find you. Yeah, yeah like that's, that's, that's what 100%. happens. 100%. I really appreciate you guys taking the time. These look great. Mm -hmm. um, they all look amazing. I can tell which ones are Fabian's. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> shots fired. I have one bad one. <laughs> one bad one, bad one. I'm you a hard time. Uh, but no, we really appreciate it. Now I know how to make dumplings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's great. Thanks for coming. We needed a new home in a dry climate. And with Realtor.com's draw on map feature, we found this one. Hey, neighbors, we're having a pool party. Join us. Again, Larry, we'll die if we go in the pool. Realtor.com to each their home. With Realtor.com map draw, you can choose exactly where you want to search. So we don't have to search by zip codes. Because searching by zip code is so arbitrary. What if we want a house that's just like right there? You can draw the line wherever you want with Realtor.com. Like we can let our search be free? Yep. You hear that zip code? You can't tell me what to do anymore! Go to Realtor.com or download the app today and search where you want. Thanks to Realtor.com's home alerts, we found this awesome new condo fast. And we moved in so quickly, we're already having our neighbor Kyle over for dinner. I am jealous of your open floor plan. Realtor.com, to each their home. After seeing Park Circle with Fabian and Kirsten, we're headed across the river to the other neighborhood on their list, West Ashley. Our first stop is a home which I think might be a great fit to suit their needs, especially space for Kirsten's business and all those dogs. But this neighborhood in West Ashley is a lot more suburban, yes. totally different vibe from the uh -huh. other neighborhood. Tell me your first impressions. Uh, honestly, I like it. It okay. feels homey. Well, let's take a quick look at the listing on the Realtor.com app. So good news is it's under your budget of 300000 I think you guys are going to love it. Cool. All right, come on in. To your left, you have your formal dining room area. Okay. Attached to your kitchen, but separate. Yeah. Right? I like having that eating space. That's nice. I love this window cut out here. Love it. Okay. Adds a lot of character, That's right? the first thing I noticed. Yeah. yeah. Lots of light. I love how it looks. It's great. So right through here, you have your kitchen. Now, at first glance, not as much counter space mm -hmm. as the other home. Yeah, right. it is a little bit smaller, a little tighter in here compared mm -hmm. to the last home, but I think it's doable. Like, yeah, definitely I definitely love that double oven. And so. then it flows right into your living area, oh, and wow. it's nice. huge. It <laughs> it's massive. really big. This the ceilings that really they draw your eye up. You see, mm -hmm. it just feels more open for yes. sure. This is a huge upgrade. That when we have people over. Dogs can move around in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a oh, nice yeah. open space. And, and the dogs awesome. can be in here if you want them to be, but they don't have to be because there's a space for the dogs. So the previous owners used to train canine dogs. What? And this is the space that they did it in. Oh, right my here. gosh. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's almost like they had you in mind. Oh, yeah. Well. With this yeah, app, right? I think so. And this would most likely be your primary bedroom. Mm -hmm. but Ooh, this is big. Wow. Really big, right? Love it. It's yeah, you put a whole couch in here. I love it. This would be oh, your wow. ensuite. So oh, wow. Double sinks. Double That's clutch. Yeah. I love that. 
This would be your second bedroom. It's a good size. Yeah, it's nice. nice. Could be a guest room. Yeah. Straight through here, we have another bedroom. Oh, wow. I like the space. Definitely work for guests. Yes. Your outdoor space. Now Love you have the deck. Plenty of space for your dogs. Yeah. It continues mm -hmm. right this way. It's already fenced oh. off. Oh. Love the it. gates are already up. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome how it's separated. All the work's been done for you. Yeah. And the neighbors are already used to dog feeding around. Exactly. <laughs> so this is nice. Like, space is at a premium, mm -hmm. and you guys are working from home. Yes. But you might be going back. You don't know when. Right, and eventually. So commute is important. Yes. So we want you close to the freeway. Unfortunately, sometimes that gets a little noisy. Right. So in order to determine the noise level of your neighborhood, there's a really great feature from Realtor.com. Now, to use it, you just want to pull up your listing and click the Options button here. Turn on the Noise Level Map layer right there, and you see it'll color code your neighborhood. So this is based on a low, medium to high rating system, and they use all different sources to get that. This is a medium. So that way you can determine whether that works for you or not. Mm -hmm. That can be really useful with having dogs here, because yes. a lot of dogs are you know, maybe more reactive to louder sounds, mm -hmm. so knowing that really helps us yeah. out. So I have some really cool folks that I want you to meet, okay. and that's where we're headed next. All right. All right. All right. So we're in West Ashley. This is the neighborhood that you guys live in now. What do you like about this neighborhood? Uh, there's a lot of great restaurants, there's yeah. bars. It's cool. A little more suburban. Right, because this section that we're in now is Avondale. Yes. And this has a lot of things going on, right? Yes, this is the, this is the poppin' spot. Poppin' spot, yeah. right? West Ashley, or west of the Ashley, is located just across the Ashley River from downtown Charleston and is the site where English settlers landed in 1670. Through continued development over the decades, West Ashley is home to inviting neighborhoods with funky retailers and restaurants, as well as big box stores and main thoroughfares. West Ashley has immense natural beauty, but also has a difficult history, with many slavery area plantations still looming over the landscape. This is also a part of the Gullah Geechee Corridor, an area where many descendants of enslaved West and Central Africans reside. Known as the Gullah Geechee, they have maintained centuries-old traditions, including the Geechee language, cooking and farming techniques, as well as beautiful handicrafts such as rice baskets. Development along this coastal area, especially the Barrier Islands, has threatened the Gullah Geechee way of life, inspiring some to find unique ways of preserving it. I'm taking Kirsten and Fabian to Caroline's Aloha Bar, a lively West Ashley hotspot to meet two incredible ladies. Johnny Caldwell and Tanika Reeves, also known as the Cocktail Bandits, are South Carolina natives who have been blending cocktails and culture in an inspiring fashion. Okay, so what we're having today is a peninsula tea. It's made with Firefly Sweet Tea Vodka, which is the first distillery here in South Carolina. We have our Palmetto Rose, which is very signature to Charleston. Okay. A lot of people sell these on the market, and it's really historical with Geechee Gullah, and um, Johnny's a Gullah girl. I am. Right on, so right. we like to be able to give you a piece of Charleston in a glass. I love that. Nice. Love That's that. right. That's awesome. Yeah, as a Gullah Geechee person, we are descendants of former enslaved Africans who helped cultivate and build up Charleston mm -hmm. uh, when it was first founded back in, oh, 1676. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day. So this is a way that we're able to pay homage to our heritage, keep it alive. Mm -hmm. showcasing cocktails with a Charleston flair in them. In Jamaica, we drink, there's a drink called Sorrel. So I made it. You I know Sorrel, it's so good, yeah. <laughs> So there you go, so yeah, so I made some at home, first time ever trying to do it, and it was great. We love to do that as well, like talking about Sorrel, we just made a wonderful hibiscus tea cocktail. Oh. So we love playing with those kind of flavors and also tying it back into our roots. So when I heard that you guys do events at plantations, a little piece of my brain exploded. What's the drive behind doing something like that? Educating about plantations is American history. Mm -hmm. For what we created and what we brought to America as far as the culture as it is now, it's right. still all connected. In my land, like there wasn't even a paved street for a very long time. Wow. So my great-great-grandfather ended up purchasing about five acres of land. Right. So if you don't know about your history, how can you know about your future? 100%. I was raised in Charleston. My family home is less than a mile away from a plantation. Yeah. So I think our people have just shown that regardless of where we are, we're able to shine and, and grow and make something out of the worst of situations. Mm -hmm. Once, you know, slavery was abolished, you had lands and acres of property that were abandoned. Mm -hmm. And people like my family were able to inhabit mm -hmm. that property mm -hmm. and build a home that we still have now. How was your family able 
to do that? Yes, it's a legal term called heirs property law, right. where once it's been settled, the property can pass down generation to generation through the lineage. So we have like two and a half acres in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Okay. Okay. That was our pathway to ownership. Had we not had that, I don't know if we would have property now as a family. But ladies, I just want to thank you. I feel more enlightened. I'm sure these folks have a lot to think about, oh right? Yes. Yeah. So much. It was great learning about everything you guys do, the history, the, the heritage, culture. the culture. Yeah. It's really awesome. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I hate my tiny basement, but with Realtor.com's 3D tours, I can explore new homes virtually. I love my new home. This is the best day of my afterlife. Realtor.com, to each their home. Hey, person, looking for a home? Yes. Person to person? Realtor.com offers super personalized ways to home search, personally. I am a person, and I do like things personalized. Perfect. Just use your person pointer to pop in your personal preferences, and Realtor.com will show you every home a person could personally prefer. Wow! Ah. Does Realtor.com let Penelope personalize? <laughs> Maybe someday, but right now, it's mostly for people. Penelope is people. Go to Realtor.com or download the app today and personalize your home search. With Realtor.com's flood zone feature, we found the perfect home in an extremely dry climate. Because too much water will kill us. But we're safe here. And we're heading inside. Realtor.com, to each their home. I've had a wonderful time in Charleston with Kirsten and Fabian, helping them explore their communities and look for their first home together. Before I go, Kirsten offered to show me what her dog walking business looks like firsthand. You ready for this? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm let me try. try. So, hand you right those. Here. Just hold on tight. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's go. We got Come on, let's straddling. walk. See? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's not too bad, huh? Look at this. Look at me go. <laughs> You're natural. I'm a natural dog, well, dog walker. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this week for you guys. Was it what you expected it to be? Definitely yeah. learned a lot about the yes. area. Learned a ton more about all the different neighborhoods, uh, the cool things we can do. We met some interesting people. Yes. As you're on your house hunt, I don't want you to forget to do the things that we did to, you know, this week. Walk the neighborhoods. Talk to your uh -oh. would-be. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Talk to your would-be neighbors. <laughs> you know, see if they have dogs. You yeah. know, <laughs> see if it's a dog-friendly neighborhood. Right. I think those things are going to be really important for you guys. Thank you for showing us all these great things and My pleasure. helping explore different neighborhoods. And Absolutely. walking dogs with us. Listen, anytime. My hope for Fabian and Kirsten is that they find a home where they can learn and grow together, and that they find a community where they can fully own their cultural identities and share that with those around them. So I heard through the grapevine that you guys have some good news. Well, we found a house. We're out of an apartment. Woo! You did it. First things first, I definitely need a tour. All right, here we go. We did happen to get three bedrooms. So we have a guest room. Oh, that's perfect. So here is, I think, the best room in the house. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, it's perfect. Nice space. I love that. And then this lovely living room. Good amount of space for entertaining. Yes. A lot of space for dance parties, you know. We want yeah. to bust a move. I don't know. Now, here's one of our favorite parts. It is the kitchen. the kitchen. This is where we throw down, you know, make all our cultural foods, cook our dinners. But it gets better. You know, we love to entertain. I'm going to show you another little fun part of the house. OK. Here we go. Here we go outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at this paradise. Look at this. And the grill set up right here. You know, wide open backyard for the dogs to run and play. And, you know, when the weather gets a little chilly, it has awesome fire pit. Yeah, there's so much space back there. So much space. And we have 14 <laughs> to 20 to 50 dogs. You know, it holds all of them. It's good. So what part of town did you guys end up uh, buying in? We ended up to stay <laughs> in West Ashley. That was one of the areas that we really liked, right? Yeah, we yeah. love it here. No, we were already here. We really just felt like this we was definitely got was it. drinks from Caroline's. <laughs> yes, so now you guys are regulars at Caroline's. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, that's wonderful. I'm so happy for you guys. I mean, buying your first home is, there's nothing like it. I'm. Mm -hmm. You're homeowners. You guys own a piece of Charleston. And that's priceless. I absolutely just love having our own space that we got to personalize and really just grow in. Perfect. 
hopefully I talk to you soon. All right. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.